Now, here's a shootout that I'm really interested in doing. This is the OPPO K1. Like we have been saying at this price point right now, if that's your budget, 15, 16,000 rupees, there isn't really any competition. But what if you had another 5,000 rupees? Is there competition there? So we decided to do something very interesting. We took the Vivo V11 Pro. Now, that's a more expensive phone. The price has dropped a little, but even now, it's still far more expensive than the OPPO K1. So we took that phone. This is an unusual shootout because usually we'd either go with a very similar price point or something which is just around the corner, but this has a discernible difference. So it's the OPPO K1 versus the much more expensive Vivo V11 Pro. Vivo has made a splash with a pop-up camera on the V15 Pro, but not so long back, the Vivo V11 Pro had stood out for its unique design and what was then a very new feature, the in-display fingerprint scanner. Oppo's recent K1 compelled us to put the two phones together. With similar features like the in-display fingerprint scanner and a similar design language, how do they fare when pitted against each other? Let's find out. Well, in terms of design, the phones seem to be two peas in a pod. The Vivo V11 Pro, although launched quite a few months back before the OPPO K1, has a gradient design on an all-glass back along with a water drop notch in the front. The OPPO K1 follows the same trend with a gradient design, but the finish does not feel as premium as the Vivo V11 Pro. The screen size on the two phones is very similar, but the OPPO K1 comes with an AMOLED screen, while the Vivo V11 Pro calls the display a halo full-view display that can probably be attributed to the water drop notch on the front. The display on the OPPO K1 is remarkable and the colours are quite sharp. Even in terms of performance, the two phones sport the same Snapdragon 660 chipset. So where does the real difference lie? Well, the price tag differentiates these phones. The OPPO K1 is priced at 16,990 rupees for the 4GB RAM variant, while the Vivo V11 Pro is priced at 23,990 rupees for the 6GB RAM variant. Hmm, but does the 7,000 rupee difference tip the scales towards the OPPO K1? Let's see what else these phones pack in. In terms of juice, the OPPO K1 is likely to last you longer with a 3600mAh battery. The Vivo V11 Pro lags a little behind with a 3400mAh battery. Coming to the optics, the OPPO K1 has a dual rear camera with a 16 and 2 megapixel lens, while the Vivo V11 Pro has a 12 and 5 megapixel lens. Images shot on the new OPPO K1 were refreshingly better. The colours were not overly saturated and the depth was also pretty good. The front camera on the two phones is exactly the same, a 25 megapixel lens. When the Vivo V11 Pro was launched, this was one of the highlights of the phone but is now clearly seen on slightly cheaper phones as well. The in-display fingerprint scanner on the two phones works well and is pretty fast. The UI is slightly different on the two phones owing to the different skins they have. The OPPO K1 comes with Color OS 5.2 while the Vivo V11 Pro comes with the Fun Touch OS skin. Color OS brings some new features but the Fun Touch OS is more clutter free. The Cell Guru verdict. The Vivo V11 Pro was the most innovative phone when it had launched with an in-display fingerprint scanner. And it was one of the most economical phones to bring this feature. But this crown jewel has been taken by the OPPO K1. And both in terms of price and performance, the OPPO K1 excels. With a good battery life and optics, it emerges as the winner in this shootout.